Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Dan Pardo and this is Pardo's Turn, my weekly Wednesday web series where I analyze a classic show tune from a music director's point of view and with the help of a special guest, perhaps shed some light on what makes the gems of our musical theater canon so great. My wife Chrissy and I moved apartments again this week, hopefully for the last time, and we're also both in tech for a production of Working at ACT of Connecticut in Ridgefield. So I didn't have a chance to secure a fancy guest this week, but I did want to put out a new video, so I thought that maybe today we could talk about your audition book. Specifically, we could take a lesson from Mari Kondo, author of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which was recently turned into a popular show on Netflix. Now, if you're not familiar with the KonMari method, it's a way of organizing your life one item at a time and seeing if your interactions with those entities spark joy. So when you touch something that sparks joy for you, this is what's going to happen. Your body lifts up a little bit like this. Spark that's, joy! That's this is spark know. joy. Yeah. That's, that's one of my t-shirts. I'm glad it's sparking joy. <laughs> now, obviously, this can result in throwing stuff out and decluttering, but it can also help reframe things and make discoveries about yourself. In the context of an audition book, this methodology can be really life-changing. Last week, we listened to F. Michael Haney talk about his go-to song, Mr. Curiosity, and how it has served him well for dozens of appointments and open calls. I could tell just playing the song with him that not only is it functional and versatile, but it sparks joy. He loves singing it, and it reads that way both on film and across the room to a show's creative team. Obviously, not every song is appropriate for every audition, so going through your usual checklist, golden age up-tempo and ballad, contemporary up-tempo and ballad, pop rock song, country comedic song, song time selection, whatever your teacher or vocal coach suggests, isn't a bad place to start. But once you find your songs, make sure they're truly your songs. Take that extra step and ask yourself, does singing this song give me butterflies? Do I hear the first two bars of the introduction and get excited to perform this music? If the answer is no, then keep looking. A lot of times, people try and reverse engineer their song selection, as if they had an Excel spreadsheet of every musical theater piece ever written, then applied a whole bunch of filters to narrow them down. The problem with that is, if a casting director asks you why you brought in a certain song, the answer shouldn't be, well, I was looking for a contemporary power ballad in a compound meter with at least two modulations, a three octave range, and no more than seven riffs. It should be, it seemed appropriate for the show, and I love singing it. Those are the auditions we want to see. Those are the performances that truly make magic. Sometimes it's hard to check off all the boxes of your book while meeting Murray Kondo's criteria. And that's okay. Let me elaborate. Earlier this week, my friend and colleague Jen Waldman was talking about the art of tidying up on her fabulous podcast, The Long and the Short of It, which she does with Peter Shepard. And in that discussion, she asks the very valid question, why does everything I have need to spark joy? She then talks about her running sneakers and how they serve an important function, even if she hates going outside for a jog or logging miles on the treadmill. And yet, if I were with her, I would say, get rid of them. Trade them in for cycling shoes or hiking boots or soccer cleats or flippers. There are so many ways of getting exercise. Choose something, Jen, that sparks joy. So bring it back to your audition book. If you put in an honest effort and you still can't find a rock cut that you love to sing, then you're probably not going to enjoy performing in a show with a rock score. Take it out. Or if that Adam Gettle song is making you anxious, Sideline it until you've spent some time with a vocal coach and can wrap your brain around that difficult material. It's okay. There are hundreds if not thousands of musicals out there, even if it seems like they're only auditioning Mamma Mia this season. You probably don't belong in every one of them, so your book doesn't need to account for them all either. Yes, expand your horizons. Yes, keep listening and connecting to more music. But play to your strengths, too. Your first audition is the window into your personality. Be your authentic self, spark joy, sing something that you love to sing and that they're going to love to hear. As an audience member for Pardo's Turn, you can probably tell on this show when I truly love the songs that I'm analyzing. I geek out a bit. I talk extemporaneously or pull facts from the recesses of my brain rather than the recesses of the show's Wikipedia page. I might connect my analysis to a production of the show that I've done or a certain performance that I've seen. 
I mean, I spend hours planning, filming, editing, and uploading each episode. And if a song doesn't spark joy with me, I'll probably suggest that my performer sing something else. It makes a difference for me, and I bet it makes a difference for you. So go home, get your audition book, find a pianist, and go through each page. Record yourself not for the performance of the song, but for the reaction on your face when the song begins. If you can't see yourself finding joy in the songs that you've curated for the sole purpose of auditioning, it's time to tidy up your book. It's that tidy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to have a new episode next week with a regular guest. In the meantime, check out our backlog of episodes and keep your eyes open for working at ACT of Connecticut. I'm really excited for this production. And I'm really excited that I get to share the stage with my wife, Chrissy, who's our swing in our cast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next Wednesday. So like Bye. The prophets were told.